Hi, my name is Deborah Lee, and upon multiple requests, I'm going to show you how to make angel wings. Now, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, angel wings are a tool that I use to worship God with. Um, it's a worship dance style. So, the materials you need will be a three by eight or three eighths by 48 dowel rod. This is a wooden dowel rod. Scissors. A little cutting tool, um, some kind of saw because we are gonna cut this dowel rod to size. A measuring tape to measure your material, a sewing machine and a serger. Now the first thing I'm going to do is lay this on the table just to show you the design of the flag, what we're going to cut out. So this is basically a half of a circle. So we're going to cut out a half of a circle and a fourth of the circle is going to be the size of the dowel rod. So the size of the dowel rod is never going to be the same because your cuts can never be exactly the same unless if you're just really good at it, which I'm not. So we're going to take this measuring tape and I'm going to measure, let's see, I want to make make a big big flag today and what I like to do is make two of the same flags because I like to use two flags at the same time so I'm gonna measure for one flag and cut it and then I'm gonna put that same flag on top of more material and cut around that to get two of the same size of flags so let's see I'm going to do about We'll go 50 inches. So 50 inches is here. So I'm going to go down on this side and I'm going to cut where my 50 inches is. In the middle of the 50 inches, I'm going to find my center, which is 25 inches, right here, and I should have a pen or something to mark, but because I wasn't prepared for that, I'm just going to cut a little slit right there where the 25 inches is. Um, I really don't need a pen because I'm pretty, I've done this so many times. So I'm just going to, what you should do, which I'm not doing, is take a pencil or a piece of chalk and do a half a circle. Draw a half a circle with it. Um, but I've done this so many times where I just know, I just know what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. I'm going to go to this side and meet the middle. Again, it's not perfect if you you are more than welcome to measure and make it a perfect circle but you know when you're using them they're flowing and it really doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect so now I'm gonna get some more extra material 
And in order to save your material, what I like to do is flip the material over. Because you have a circular cut, the point of this material, where'd it go? Right there. The point of this material is going to go on this longer cut. Just to save some material here. I'm going to lay this down, and if you don't like this style, you're more than welcome to just measure and cut, but this is just the way I do things here. There we go. So I'm going to pull the material down to save as much as this other material as I can. I'm going to keep pulling until the edge of this meets up with my other material. About right there. And I'm sure it's gonna be hard on camera to see where my red is. And once you make more of these flags and more uh, different colors, you can take one of your other flags, like this one, and you can use this to make your flags. See this blue or teal on top of the red is a lot better to see. And you can cut along and you don't have to measure. But you want to make sure if you use another flag to cut with, to leave a couple inches extra because you're gonna use that to fold um, up to put the dowel in. All right, so we have this red material, and I'm just going to cut right along to make the same size. So there's some extra material. with because it's straight. I like to use that finished edge. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is measure for the dowel rod. So the dowel rod should be half of what your flag is. So our flag measured, the material measured 25 half. So we had it 50 long, but half is 25. But after we sew the flag, it's not gonna be 50 long anymore. So I fold the flag in half, and I'm going to measure, and it is 25. So now I'm gonna take one inch off of that measurement to make my dowel rod, because I need an inch leeway for the sewing. So I'm going to measure the dowel rod 24 inches and cut, and cut there. Let me grab a pencil. So I'm going to mark at my 
24 inch. And I put a little X on the side that I'm gonna use just so I know which is which. So now I'm gonna take my cutting tool and I usually do this outside because I don't wanna mess in my kitchen, but here we go. I'm going to hold it pretty close and I'm sure you can get another tool that's faster, safer, but this is what I use. And I'm gonna cut right where that line is. long dowel rod. Now the edges are rough, especially the one I just cut because that was a bad cut. The edges are rough. Um, what I like to do, I'm not going to do this on my floor because I don't want to ruin it, um, but I like to get something that you can press into like a piece of metal um, or even outside and what you want to do is roll it, push really hard the wood is soft, so you can push and roll the edges to kind of curve a little bit on both sides. You just push your hand down and you roll the dowel rod as you're pushing your hand down to smooth out those rough edges. Next, we're going to go over to the serger and we're going to serge around the material. If you don't have a serger, your sewing machine can do the trick if you have uh, the right foot for it, and I, um, you'll just have to ask or Google whatever that is. No. Okay, so I'm at my serger, and now I'm going to, I'm not going to cut much off of my material, just any um, slight edges that might have came up. I do have my cutter on, but most of when when a sur most sergers have the ability to roll, um, so I have my serger set to kind of roll my material up, and that helps with the waving flags. Uh, your setting you want your serger setting to not be wide. Um, you want it to kind of roll up to protect the material, and it kind of gives you a better flow with the flags. my edges and I used a uh, white on red just to show the thin how it's um, curled up in there it makes a better flag and it kind of gives that wave and usually the wave um, will stay there if you wrap the flag up the right way but I like that effect I like how it waves so the end, the, the beginning of the serge, I'm leaving this long thread because we are going to sew that into the material to secure it. On the end, I curved it up a bit and then I left a little bit of the serge thread because we are going to go back and we're gonna sew that as well. So right now what we're gonna do is we are going to sew the dowel rod into the material itself. And you want to make sure you have about a two inch leeway here for your dowel rod. Now with the dowel rod, I smoothed out my dowel rod. This is an unsmoothed edge. See how it's sharp? It's a sharp corner. I pushed down and I curved my corners up. That way it doesn't snag up the material 
when you start waving the flag. Now, if you're concerned about your flag ripping, you can make a, a small sleeve to put the rod in and then sew the rod with the sleeve into the material and that can help you with more protection. So now we're gonna get started on sewing the flag. Set the dowel rod down that I don't want to use. Okay, so this is my beginning piece. And you want to measure and make sure you have two feet or two inches, sorry. But I'm not much of a measuring kind of person. I like to eyeball things. So I just want to make sure that my flag is going to rest in there good. So I fold it up just a tiny bit and then I'll fold it again over the rod and that's where I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to pull the rod out. So I have this that's folded under and I'm going to put this under here to get it started. Some people like to go ahead and measure and um, put your pens in um, and you feel free to do that. But this is just a quick uh, video on how to get this started. So where's my pedal? So we're gonna start and I'm gonna push reverse to let it go back just a little bit. And then I'm going to start again. And as I'm going down, I'm just making sure that one cur uh, twist is in there and holding it. And if you are not familiar with this, please measure and pin because it can be difficult to do this if you haven't done this um, before. So after I get so far, I'm going to measure where my dowel rod should be. So I still have uh, this much more to sew before the next, the next thing. I'm going to go ahead and get it situated where I want it, and I'm going to hold where my dowel rod stops. So I know the dowel rod is this long. I feel comfortable with that length. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the material back and this makes a little um, kind of ruffle effect here. So I'm going to turn it and get to a certain point. See how it's curved right here now? Now, some people like to um, continue to fold and cut that way. I, for the most part, I'll stop here and I'll go to the serger and just serge the rest of this. But um, for now, I'm just going to show you how to turn it and sew to secure this extra piece of material. Because if you serge, and you stop at the corners, when you're waving the flag, this is going to unravel and you're going to have to keep surging over and over and over again. So this time, I'm just going to roll up and I'm going to sew that extra uh, thread right into the material.
this is a pretty small sew here. But do what you feel comfortable with because it doesn't have to be perfect. So as I get to the end, I'm going to make sure that this thread is tucked up inside and I'm going to fold it into the sew, just like that. Uh, reverse, make it in reverse a few times just to secure it. And there is that end. Now I'm going to take the rod and this opened hole, put the rod in the hole, and see how it fits in there just right. Cut off this excess thread right here that we started with and I'm just going to fold this side down and sew. This time I think I'm going to do a little zigzag here just to make it more secure. Let me get to my setting. Yeah. So let me fold it down just a little bit. And I'm going to do a zigzag and then a straight stitch. So the zigzag will help it be more secure. So now I have the finished angel wing flag. So we have the dowel rod in the first half of the flag and now we have a tail. And if you can see it still has a little wave effect in it. Um, we have the top that's been sewn and the little curve and where the, the rod and the tail of it start and you just this is how it works we wave it this way and if you want to learn more if you haven't seen the video of how to use the angel wings um, go to my youtube channel deborah lee and you can find how to do angel wings um, my next video i'm going to teach how to do um, fan flags, which are awesome. I love, I love, love, love to worship God with fan flags. Um, so stay tuned for that video. And remember, Jesus loves you so much. And we use these tools to worship him, to worship him in spirit and in truth. And it starts right here. It starts here in your heart. It starts in your private time with Him. Um, when we worship with these, these are to magnify His name. Um, it's nothing about us. It's, we are just here to worship Him and to let His presence flow through. So I want to pray over you um, as you start making flags and worshiping using them. Father, I lift up whoever listens and watches this video and has a desire to worship you with flags and banners and dancing. I ask, Father, that you give them new revelation of worshiping you. I ask that you give them new revelation of who they are in you 
and of who you are in them. And I lift them up to you, Father, and I just pray blessings over them. In the name of Yeshua, blessings. In Jesus' name, we give you praise. Amen.